In a groundbreaking announcement from Stockholm, the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to three pioneering American scientists, John Clark from the University of California, Michelle Devaray from Yale University, and John Martinez from the University of California, Santa Barbara. They share the prize for their foundational contributions to the development of superconducting quantum circuits and qubits, which have propelled the field of quantum computing from theoretical promise to practical reality. This award recognizes decades of innovative work that has unlocked new ways to manipulate quantum information, paving the path for technologies, revolutionize computing, cryptography, and beyond. Let's start with John Clark, a British-born physicist who has been a fixture at UC Berkeley since the late 1960s. Clark's journey began with his PhD from Cambridge University, where he delved into superconductivity. His most iconic contribution is the advancement of superconducting quantum interference devices, or SQUIDS. These ultra-sensitive detectors measure tiny magnetic fields with quantum precision far beyond what classical instruments can achieve. Clark's SQUIDS have applications everywhere, from medical imaging like MRI enhancements to geophysical surveys detecting underground resources. But in the context of this Nobel, his early work on quantum-limited amplifiers and superconducting electronics laid crucial groundwork for building reliable quantum systems. Without Clark's insights into noise reduction and quantum measurements, the delicate qubits at the heart of quantum computers would be overwhelmed by environmental interference. Next, Michel Deveret, the French physicist who joined Yale in 2002 after seminal work in Europe and a postdoctoral stint in Clark's Berkeley lab. Deveret is often hailed as a founder of circuit quantum electrodynamics, or circuit QED. This field treats electrical circuits as artificial atoms, allowing scientists to study quantum phenomena on a chip. His breakthroughs include demonstrating macroscopic quantum tunneling, where quantum effects appear in large-scale systems, and inventing the single electron pump, a device that precisely controls electron flow for metrology and computing. Deveret's group at Yale has pushed the boundaries of quantum coherence, creating qubits that maintain their fragile states long enough for complex operations. His collaborative spirit shines through in prizes like the Missius Quantum Prize, shared with Clark and others, highlighting how his innovations have enabled entanglement and error correction in quantum processes. And then there's John Martinez, whose hands-on approach has turned quantum dreams into hardware. After earning his PhD at Berkeley, Martinez spent years at NIST and then UC Santa Barbara, where he held the Worcester chair. He's best known for designing superconducting qubits, tiny loops of superconducting material that act as quantum bits. Martinez pioneered the phase qubit and later led Google's quantum AI team, achieving quantum supremacy in 2019 with the Sycamore processor. That experiment showed a quantum computer solving a problem in minutes that would take classical supercomputers millennia. His focus on scalable architectures and error mitigation has made quantum computing viable, influencing everything from drug discovery simulations to optimizing global logistics. Together, these laureates have synergized their expertise. Clark's sensitive detectors, Deveret's circuit designs and Martinez's qubit engineering have created the backbone of modern quantum computers. Their work addresses the core challenge of quantum fragility, protecting information from decoherence while scaling up systems. The Nobel Committee praised how their advances in superconducting technologies have democratized quantum research, with implications for unbreakable encryption, faster AI, and solving climate models that defy classical limits. As we look to the future, this prize underscores quantum computing's tipping point. We're on the cusp of a new era where problems once deemed impossible become solvable. Clark, Deveret, and Martinez remind us that persistence in fundamental science yields world-changing tech. Congratulations to these visionaries. Their legacy will echo in every quantum leap ahead.